Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana, thanks for watching. This channel is all about SMS beauty, which is skincare, makeup, sunscreen. Today, again, like many days, we're doing sunscreen. And today we're actually gonna be covering two sunscreens, but also a new filter. So first of all, sunscreen is kind of broken up into, I guess, three categories. We have organic or chemical. Those are filters you may have heard of, like homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene. Um, avobenzone, those kinds of things. Those are like the typical US filters. There are also other filters in other parts of the world. You maybe heard of Tinisorb or Juvenal. Those are also variations and they have variations within that category. So those are kind of the chemical or organic filters. And then we have on the other spectrum, we have the inorganic or mineral filters. And those you only have two and you probably have heard those names as well. Those are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And that's just because those ingredients, like zinc oxide, is just white. That is just kind of the nature of those two ingredients. And of course you can make it so it's not as casty, but a lot of the times, unless you're having a tinted sunscreen with those, they are gonna have more of a white cast and that's just kind of like the main difference, I would say. And then some people do prefer mineral or inorganic sunscreens over organic or chemical. A lot of people say that it's more like it sensitizes their skin more and that's fair. So it's just kind of what you prefer. And then I also did want to mention there is a hybrid, which kind of is exactly what it sounds like. It's a combination of organic and inorganic sunscreens. And those work really well for certain people as well. So that's kind of like the basics sunscreen 101. So some of the bigger brands like in this instance, L'Oreal, they do a lot of research and development. They are creating new filters. They are creating new developments in the sunscreen world. And eventually they do get those approved, they get them patented, and then we get to benefit from them. And today we are doing exactly that. We're gonna be talking about the new filter, which is called either UV Immune 400 or Mexoral 400. And I have two products from which it's in. I think these are the two main ones uh, that I've seen so far. This is the, from the brand La Roche-Posay and these are called Athelios UV Immune 400. The trade name is Mexoral 400, so you might see it interchangeably, but it's the same thing. And then I was looking on the website from where I got these. I got them, it's called Care to Skin or Care to Basics. I always forget the name. So these filters are not necessarily approved in the US right now. The FDA approved sunscreen that's considered a drug here in the US, and it takes a long time for FDA regulations to change. So if you're looking for these just out of a US-based store, you're not gonna find them, but you can go to quite a few stores and online shops um, based out of Europe and get them. And so that's what I've done. And these two are the clear formulas, but I was also noticing that they have both of them in a tinted version. I don't necessarily want that. I usually tend to get a tinted sunscreen if it's a mineral sunscreen because I'm trying to cover the white cast. But since these are chemical sunscreens, I don't really feel the need and then I can just wear like my tinted moisturizer or foundation instead. But I did want to mention that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one on one half, one on the other. I'm just going to show you the differences in the formula. They do have the exact same new filter, which we're going to talk through, but I did want to see the difference in kind of like what they look like. I will just tell you this one is called the cream hydrating cream and this one is the invisible fluid. So you can kind of get a sense that like this one, this one's gonna be thicker, creamier, richer, maybe for drier skin. Whereas this one's gonna be very liquidy, you can hear it. A little bit better for normal or oily skin. Okay, let's get into it. I'll get into the price, all those things, and of course the new filter. I just realized I did it without using my um, teaspoon, quarter teaspoon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it, let's consider that about half because we don't want to put the full quarter teaspoon on one side and I've already done one drop, so we'll do the rest. And probably using a little bit more than I should just because I forgot.
we'll fill it about halfway. There we go. This is very liquidy. And like I tend to do, I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes, go wash my hands, you know, and then we'll come back and talk about all the specs. All right. So it's been a few minutes and you can see that we've got a little bit of a glow, but not so much. And of course, like I always say, I am under studio lights, so it's going to kind of reflect a little bit more. But for the most part, these are just very kind of like everyday great options. They're not going to give you a lot of extra glow if that's something you're looking for. If you are looking for like a one that's a little bit more moisturizing, it's definitely going to be this one. It's a cream. It's just a little richer. This side of my face is just a little bit. It feels like I've had like a moisturizer on, whereas this side is it's just thinner in consistency and I would not go to it for your moisture. Neither of them on both sides. I had nothing, no skincare on underneath. I do like to like especially show when I'm doing a demonstration it on just clean skin. So I definitely feel like this is going to be for the more dry skin people and then more oily skin people, but kind of depends on your preference as well. I think with both of them, they're going to kind of depend on what you put on underneath. If you put nothing on, you're probably going to get a pretty basic look like this. Um, that's going to fade throughout the day. It's not going to remain glowy. If you put on quite a bit of skincare underneath to begin with, you may be able to get a little bit of a more glowy look. But again, I don't think either of these are going to be that sunscreen that I recommend. I have other videos where I say like this one is for the driest of dry skin or the glowiest skin. These are just pretty average, I would say, in terms of the finish that you get. So let's go over a little bit more of the actual specs and then we'll get into the new filter. So these are both 50 milliliters or 1.7 fluid ounces. They retail for about $20. Right now I saw them on sale for I think like 13 or 14, but $20 is not bad, very reasonable price. And both of these are fragrance free, which is wonderful, especially I feel like a lot of European brands like La Roche Posay, Vichy, especially like the French brands, they always have a scent. It's not a scent I love. It's kind of like floral, grandma-y, but neither of these have that. They both also have what they call um, netlock technology, which is part of the formula that helps resist water, sweat, everything. Basically, it is like a waterproof <laughs> version. I haven't tested like that out in particular. I don't think if you put water on your face, it's just going to dribble off, but I think it's meant to kind of keep it from running into your eyes. It is supposed to be a little bit more all purpose, but I'm not going to say right off the bat that they're like hundred percent waterproof. So, and I don't think that they're claiming that I think it's just supposed to be like a little bit of a stronger formula. And like I said, both of them do also come in tinted formulas. So if that's something you're interested in, go for it. Now, I'm going to go through the kind of details of Mixoral 400 or UV Immune 400 and I'm going to be reading it right off of the L'Oreal website. I felt like that was the, the best way to kind of show you guys and tell you what they're saying because I'm not necessarily like a cosmetic chemist in that I don't know how to formulate new filters. That's a very complicated thing and I'd rather just read it off of here. So let's get a little bit of background knowledge. Previous generation sun filters have insufficiently protected skin against long ray UVA rays. These long UVA rays penetrate the epidermis, that's your skin. These long UVA rays penetrate the epidermis the most and are also among the main causes of skin aging. So when you think of UVA and UVB, I always like to kind of think of it like this. UVA, I think of the A as aging. That's what helps, not helps, but kind of like makes your skin age maybe prematurely faster, gives you dark spots, wrinkles, those kinds of things. And then UVB, I always think of burning. That's when you go to the beach without sunscreen and your face gets bright red. Now, of course, they all kind of intersperse and if you get burned, it does affect UVA because you're getting both rays, but that's kind of how I like to break it up. So this one is gonna help with like the anti-aging properties. They also contribute to the development of skin cancer, which is another reason we wear sunscreen, <laughs> along with other UVA and UVB rays. 
No sun filter was able to block efficiently ultra-long UVA rays from 380 nm, which alone accounts for 30% of UV. So basically, there are varying layers of UVA and UVB rays, and some are short form, some are longer, medium, and this one is one of the longest forms that really they're saying there was no filter that was available to protect you from those rays. So L'Oreal Research is at the forefront of innovation in patented sun protection since the 1930s with its first patent on a sun protection oil. In 1982, Maxoral SX filter was effective against short UVA rays and was photostable and hydrophilic. Okay, that's they're just getting into the history. We don't need that. I mean, it's interesting, but let's go to the actual UV Mune. UV Mune 400 is the first L'Oreal filtering technology to absorb ultra-long UVA rays so effectively. It took 10 years of research to design its performance engine, Mexoral 400 filter. So basically, one of the things that I also read about it is that you're basically combining eight filters that are going to help protect from the UVA and UVB rays, and that's part of how Mexoral 400 works. There's, of course, going to be a lot more information out there on it, but again, I'm not claiming to be a sunscreen cosmetic com chemist. That is a very complicated field and something that I'm not necessarily gonna like claim to have the highest amount of knowledge on. But I do like the fact that it is addressing a UVA ray that we previously thought we were just like not being protected as much from. So you may often see something like SPF 50 and then PA and the number of pluses. So the SPF is actually for the UVB rays Whereas the PA, or sometimes it'll be a circle around the UVA, that's for the UVA rays. And a lot of times you may have a higher amount of protection for UVB, but then a lesser amount for UVA. And what these kind of filters and these kind of products are supposed to be doing is upping that UVA protection, which is a great thing. And I love to see just, I love the innovation. I mean, it says that it took 10 years to come up with this filter. So it's pretty cool to see big brands like L'Oreal, which they own the Roche Posay, you know, innovating and coming out with things that we want to see. So these are definitely gonna be in the rotation. This one, if you if it looks familiar, it's because it is. La Roche Posay, this is one of their like cult classics. It's the the Shaka, that's what they used to call it, because you shake it. Um, and it operates the same as the other ones that you may have found with this kind of packaging. They're both gonna be invisible. They're both gonna go on really easily. They're gonna be just kind of like your starter pack sunscreens, but also giving you really high protection from both UVA and UVB rays. So, so far I've been loving them. My skin, I definitely reach for this more in the summertime. This would be like more wintry, but kind of depending on what you want, you might be interested in either one. So, I think that covers it again. There's so much more research out there on these filters. If you wanna go in depth and go down the rabbit hole, Lab Muffin Beauty, she often has really good in depth research videos on it. You can also just do research, type in Mexoral 400 or UV Moon, and you can get a lot more details. But I just wanted to kind of do like the basics of it and just get these out there so you can see what they look like. So I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big old like, subscribe below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.